Hi, and welcome to Toastmasters Meetup Training for Event Hosts. I'm Dr. Michelle Petacolas. I am the president of the Oakland Toastmasters Club Heart to Heart, and I'm here to explain today the specific extra skills that an event host has that can help you to promote your club and have invite more membership. To do that, I am going to share a screen. But before I do that, I want to tell you that you need to already know or have become a member of Toastmaster, a member of Meetup, and that you know how to RSVP and that you know how to promote to social media and that you know how to post photographs and make comments on your page. Those are already covered in another video or actually three videos. Today we're going to focus on the specific skills, extra tools that are available for an event host. Uh, for that I'm going to share my screen. Now when you log in, or even if you don't log in, you can find this, uh, your page for your district, and this is our page for District 57, maybe just for Oakland, Communication Leadership with Toastmasters. So the first thing you need to do is find your own club. So you can go see all and look under calendar. That's the fastest way. You can scroll down, but I recommend you go to the date of your event. Ours is once a month, and we're on the first Saturday of the month, and there we are. And you will see, unlike other members, you have special tools called organizer tools. And in here, if you click on the drop-down menu, you will see that there are managing attendees, contact attendees, close for RSVPs, and edit this meetup. Managing attendees allows you to communicate with individual members. It also allows you to edit the guest count for specific people. Uh, maybe they told you somebody is coming, or you can move to not going if they told you they're not going. You can make somebody an event host to help you out, and you can send a private message to a particular individual. Going back to our tools again, the next one is contacting attendees. This is very useful. This allows you, you can allow members to reply to your message, and you can send messages to members who have RSVP'd for your meetup, those who have said no. Generally, they don't say no, and you don't want them to say no because you want as many yeses as you can. And members who've joined a wait list, that never happens and members who went to this meetup. So after the meetup, you might want to contact those people. You can put in a subject line and go ahead and enter a specific message. For example, you might want to ask those people who are attending to show up early to help you clean up or set up the space. Maybe uh, you need another evaluator or you need one of the other roles. And this is a way to reach individual, to reach the group that is already saying they're coming and get extra help. So back to our calendar again, because I've lost my space, and that happens. Uh, now the last well, you can close for RSVP. I don't bother doing that. Uh, I, that has never been a problem for our space, but it might be for yours, and this is the way to stop RSVPs. Now, the most important tool is to edit the actual meetup message, and you can do it both for all the series or just for this specific one. And this is what I recommend, is that you put in additional information specific to the event that's coming up that makes it more interesting. We have a general message that we send out that talks about our club, but there are some interesting things that are happening in our next meetup. So I actually made 
uh, wrote in some stuff that I want to put at the top so that people can see it. And that is that in addition to our regular speakers and impromptu table topics, we will have the following speakers presenting at this meeting. We actually have guest speaker Greg Car Carter, who is the District 57 contest winner, the inspirational speech contest, and he's going to be sharing his second speech for the international speech contest. And we have another member who is going to be a headliner speaker who, who actually presents a 20 minute speech. So then you go ahead and you click publish and it will show up with the new information here. So that's all you need to know about the tools you have. I've already explained in another video how you can share on social media. So a few additional things that you might want to think about. Other ways to help you to increase the visibility of your club on Meetup. Another thing you can do is cross promote with another club. They send the link to your event to their club members and you send a link to their event to your club members so that it gets exposed to more people, that shows that there's things happening and that will actually increase the number of views that your particular event has. Another thing you can do is work with another club to create a mutual event that you do together and you cross promote together. And that's another way to really create more excitement for your event. So that's all I have for today. I'm Dr. Michelle Petacolis. Thank you for joining me. Please go ahead, if you haven't yet, check out the earlier videos to find out how to become a member and how to RSVP and to promote your club further with Meetup. Bye for now.